But. My favorite album is Saint Anger. <laughs> really? The the drum sound? <laughs> I was nice. gonna say, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We've got Marshall and Ethan of Yeah Maybe. Sup, and blast! Woo! I can always tell how good the blast is by how much reverberance is off the walls. I'm like, damn, he found that spot just now. All right. If you guys are watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe because we need to subscribe. We don't want our video number to get higher than our subscriber number. That would be embarrassing. Real so quick, sp- real quick, real yeah. quick. And Creed. I said, oh, so I hid my head of hiding hate that burns inside. So many fuels that sails by. All right, that's good. Nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gets into his creed. We are on a creed streak, pretty much every time he's. They have. They anyway, got, this week we yeah. have a special guest on the podcast. Yeah, maybe is the band, and we were just talking about them, and they sound awesome. They hit pretty much all the band house podcast uh, spots, if you will. Dude, yeah, um, I, 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 dude, on the way here, I listened to, well, at least the three songs that you had on Apple Music. I listened yeah, yeah, to yeah. all of them. Mm-hmm. Like, three you guys times. have new music coming out? Yeah, actually, Sunday. Oh. So I'm. Printing. Well, not yeah, maybe. Yeah, actually. Yeah, actually, for sure. Uh, <laughs> did you plan all this stuff, or are you just riffing right now? No, I'm just riffing. He's killing, dude. He's coming out good. <laughs> um, we press to, like, cassette tapes. That's, like, a thing I do. No it's, shit. It, it helps oh, wow. with... wow. We like to get the tape compression sound, you know? So the two, it's another three-song EP, and it's a lot darker. Tight. Um, but it's... Uh, we're almost done. It should be out by, like, Sunday, Monday. And then Spotify will be, like, three weeks out. Right, so right, right. it takes a while. For well, yeah, me. this episode comes out on the thirteenth or whatever next Wednesday. So how do you is. how do you get it immediately? I mean, you can do it immediately, but apparently, if you wait a bit, they'll add you to like a playlist. So that's why I do yeah, it yeah, for like yeah, yeah, yeah. the off chance it's yeah, added yeah, yeah, yeah. to a playlist. But, I, like, but that's yeah. our first oh. upload ever. Ever and I didn't even know about it. Got put in the Spotify and we got like thirteen thousand listens. Yeah, yep, to our yep, first yep. EP and then I tried to get back on it mm-hmm. and it's I hard. never could again. Yeah, but like a ton of people remember that we made like money. I paid Dylan, our songwriter. I, I paid know. him cash and it felt amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, trying to get any exposure you know, that we can. Like, that's right, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got the sure. Bandhouse bump coming your way. That should be one or two new people. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, anybody? This is, <laughs> it's a good it's a, a collab. You're dude. about to lose thing. some fans. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. So I hope you have a good time today. Yeah, this is more about fun. Yeah, expose me. It was it was kind of cool because the last show that we played was the first time two people because we played at uh, the Fun House tight, in Seattle. Tight. Yeah, and we then, did that uh, one. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. like, obviously, Elcor Zone is like attached to it. So two guys just walked from Elcor Zone into the Fun House, and they came up yeah. to us, and uh, they watched our whole set. Came up to us afterwards, and they're like. We originally came for a band that was over there, but we stayed and watched you guys because oh, <laughs> we didn't even like what they were playing over there. We were like, "You guys pull, yeah." yeah we yeah, we're, actually we every, was, yeah. every song, uh, after every song, I would see more people like coming in. Oh, we that's had, the like, dream, dude. When was this? Like two weeks ago on a Wednesday night of all nice. times, and like sixty yeah. people were probably in there, and like I didn't know oh, half fine. of them, and I was just like, "What is going on?" But like uh, a lot of people were coming up to us, like, "You guys are." better than El Corazon bands and I was like oh man <laughs> like Dude, I, we won't post this but what other bands are playing I honestly don't know okay because I just want to know <laughs> I, I know they're we haven't beeped anything in a while did you I hear know. the beep job on the last episode uh, I'll put some beeps in there for you that did you no sense we say F words so oh, much yeah. but I beep some of them yeah when he says them yeah. really hard I'm like oh the grandma's not gonna like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. fuck no she's not gonna like it <laughs> I had to be careful. I think my aunt's gonna watch this one. So right, we'll do some hard beeps. We'll you beep. guys can. You guys oh, can. Feel okay. free. She's she'll understand it. We're just some schmucks. Mm-hmm. And I'm a saint. I'm a good boy. Yeah, grandma. we have nothing to do other than I need just to- some mother. Shlups. What'd you say? Shlups. 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 I don't know. Shlups. I thought you were gonna say just some motherfuckers. You motherfucking. Mother. That sounds like a racial slur. We should bleep, beep yeah, that I anyway. That. Um, I wouldn't bleep that because they're going to think you actually said something. Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah. But it's probably just schlepping, like schlepping yourself across town. Yeah, Schle- schlepping. I don't think like schlepping. Schlepping out of stores. I, be schlep is, I schlep. think it's kind of uh, like, uh, like I don't know. Yeah, schlep. But yeah. put the blur over his mouth, too, yeah. so it really oh, yeah. looks like it. Oh, yeah. I have to do that on the real blur. Usually, it's when you're t- we're talking about somebody we shouldn't be talking. Like, it's like, can't, nope. Oh. I think conversation's full of laughs and good times. Yeah. Like, 
Gotta yeah. Beep it. Gotta beep it. Um, oh, I was going to make a point, like how you guys said you were getting people to come in. That was the other thing when I was on my way here. The way you guys recorded it and the way it sounds sounds so organic that I was like, man, this would translate so well to live music, mm -hmm. which is, I feel that's, I like over processed, like, rock music your shine downs your uh, that i, I like man. um like the newest one is is architects which mm -hmm. if you listen to it there's just so much production yeah, yeah but i've seen bands that sound like that recorded and i've seen it not translate very well when they play live mm -hmm. and i was like man i feel like the way that i'm hearing this is exactly how i would hear it if they were on stage playing it i was like that's so yeah i just went sweet. to a show the other day i won't say any band names but it was supposed to be like metal like i was ready to i mean i wore these so i wasn't moshing or anything but i was ready to fucking <laughs> no but i've been running so hot that i wore sandals to a metal show and we got there and get, don't get me wrong the singers were amazing the drummers were good as mm -hmm. all professional bands have to be those are mm -hmm. the two you can have sloppy guitar dude your guitar solo mm -hmm. you're like i don't want to play guitar but that's <laughs> actually a benefit in that solo mm, yeah. so that doesn't really work as much with drums and singing <laughs> drums i mean you're sloppy but you're here you know you're living i try to keep, yeah. it. I try to yeah. keep it on time, meg white's the only know? one that pulled off shit drummer yeah well meg white's one of my favorite drummers she's one of the best i love her dude. like i tell her all the time like listen to meg white yeah like that no one even yeah. knows she's bad that's how bad she is when, yeah. when we're when we're recording songs mm -hmm. i'll try to throw something in and like i'm Travis trying to style. do something crazy and he's like he's like dude we got a simplistic you he's know like hey we're more simple group. we want to pull a, yeah it's, not push yeah, yeah and i definitely push back on it. i'm like no i can you do should. it you I should, should give it as much as you can and yeah. he'll sculpt it down to the i'm to like the i artistic. can do it i can do it i promise and then i'll get it but then we'll listen to it and i'm like ah, you're right doesn't sound very yeah, as good as we want yeah. And then once once I play that simple part that he's telling me to play, I'm like, in okay, this song, you know when what? You, when you added the more, you yeah. waited till yeah, yeah. two minutes in to start slamming mm -hmm. on the one and the oh, three. I love doing yeah. just And a, that makes people mosh. That'll yeah. make you mosh and flips. Snare kick, snare kick, That's all I like. <laughs> we, that's usually our closer song or... um another we do the song that's a good closer yeah. it's, it's a really good closer and like people like beg for like an encore mm -hmm, and like because mm -hmm. it's like i like to like do our set list like a roller coaster where it's like you go up and then you're coming down and you settle it and then it comes back up again tight like, tight tight and so it makes people want more because they're so excited mm -hmm. and so that's why i do it is mm -hmm. like that's our finals you're song, thinking as right? an entertainer yeah you're I'm, thinking a holistic yeah, approach yeah i'm thinking like an entertainer like what is going to get people amped up which i don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing it could be like a woodstock 99 thing but yeah. um that's that's the way i do things it's just emotions is really important you know yeah yeah and that, it, i respect that and that's even tight. with him like even tuning his guitar he'll make it he'll make it part of the show mm -hmm. like oh, oh gotta tune my guitar guys yeah. like yeah. It's just, i always do it as awkward as possible yeah there's, yeah, there's kind of a funny yeah. like honesty to that i don't know <laughs> yeah i'm outside yeah. gigs i'm like what do you want me to do i don't have a, the pedal with me that <laughs> mutes it and tunes it i'm just like yeah. We, we have this joke because he tunes his guitar he'll tune it every now and then during the sets and so we have this joke i always i'm like all right i guess it's song tuning song and so oh, I just, dude, we, have a tune. we had a god, we god, had a tuning god, riff god, mm -hmm. yeah god 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 yeah well, sometimes it's just us two so da -na -na, we, same tempo da -na -na, same tempo mm -hmm. yeah. maybe there's something to it that makes me feel like just getting right in the pocket yeah. the hard thing was tuning while playing the riff though i found that to be a challenge yeah yeah <laughs> I have to like rap because I'm if it's just us two. Oh yeah, and there's like smart. I'm like doing us and yeah, and then like saying something weird. and I gotta come up with it on the fly. Do you rap? No, I do not. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? I don't know. I don't like that. That is horribly disappointing. You know what else I love about you guys is just the absolute opposite in just look. Oh yeah. Yeah. You cover all the spectrums. I know, I know. <laughs> and two he, guys. I mean, Marshall looks like he's worked for like a church camp for like 30 years. <laughs> yeah. Ethan, not dude. so much. Dude. <laughs> he looks like people are trying to get him to go to church camp. It's great, man. <laughs> yeah. It was like on stage, I dress like this, you know, I'm very like, just mm -hmm. how my style is. I, and, and like, I am like really aggressive. I'm probably like one of the most aggressive people on stage and I get really thrashy. And That's throw, tight. I'll throw That's my guitar. That's fucking around, awesome. You know? And yeah. He throws I, his guitar, your beloved, or you yeah, have a different guitar? It's my beloved duo, which I need to, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I think that starts, it becomes a benefit to us. Cause it, it tricks them. Yeah. Cause yeah. people will listen to us and it's like, 
I don't see that coming out of that, you know? Mm-hmm. Like No, that's, that's what I love about yeah. it, man. Yeah, because you guys are like, you're metal as fuck, but, but you're just like, yeah, this is what I wear. This is who mm-hmm. I am, right? You do yeah. the same thing. Yeah. 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 Everybody. He does it way better yeah, though. Hates like, it when you do that, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just kidding. I like I, your salmon shirt. I grew up on so much punk rock as a kid. Like yeah. it was like punk rock and garage rock were my two biggest things. That makes so, that like, adds up. And I love that like angst and that anger. But you know, as I've gotten older, I've learned how to dress myself better. But when I was a kid. I would wear like my sister's like skinny jeans mm, and I cut course. the flowers out and I wore like punk rock shirts every oh, day yeah, yeah, yeah. and I had like a major bowl cut. I tried to look like Johnny Ramone. That was like my goal. How long ago was this? Oh, like when I was like 12, so like 10 years oh, ago. Oh, you were ahead of it. I didn't ago. start dressing metal until someone literally was like, hey dude, you're your heart, you're, what do you say? You're a metalhead now. You got to dress. I was like, oh yeah. You gotta dress bad. accordingly, man. I always Come think on. about how stupid that is, how <laughs> dumb that was even at the time. Yeah. So I wore the jeans and straightened my hair and wore the the shirts and all that. But now I've finally found my fucking style. Yeah, which is just so hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. hot all the time. I know it's funny, shorts. man. Eventually, you just kind of give up on it. Mm-hmm. It's like all this black well, is killing me. I put gel in my hair. Fucking, you know. That's a lot, dude. That's going That's hard. A, I did a lot today. That's a lot. Look at your hair. <laughs> I know. I didn't gel my hair today. <laughs> Asia said it looks like you have a third grade haircut. I know. I do. That was one of the best roasts. I do. It was like her first time on this podcast. And yeah. She's ripping Steven. Like, I oh, do too. It's wow. okay. I, dude, it's a, I call it the okay. hybrid bowl. Like, <laughs> the hybrid bowl. Yeah, the hybrid bowl. It's good, man. He's got the winner, obviously. He's got the yeah. locks. He's well, this is the first years. time I've grown out my hair as much as this. Like, Really? How old I, are you? Uh, 24. 24 and your yeah. first hair grow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. life changing, huh? I, I kind of grew it out in probably ninth grade, I think it was, mm-hmm. but my hair likes to grow out, not down. And so yeah. it almost looked like an afro for a little bit right, right. and it just looked terrible. So eventually you got it, ma- once you got I, it tamed though. Yeah. Once I saw a video of me, I was like, I should probably cut this. And then, uh, just, yeah. Now I've been like, actually like putting conditioner in my hair. Now it's starting to go down and yeah, yeah. But I, God, I, told, I remember that. I told my mama, I was like, I, I want to, I want to have like some grungy hair. Yeah, I want to have. Yeah, a, I want to yeah. feel like how I feel, man. I want to yeah. look how I feel, or whatever yeah, you say. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm a, I'm a yep. straight white guy with short hair who feels like a straight guy, white guy with long hair. <laughs> yeah. And I want, and you can make it happen easily. I look what, like Dahmer with long hair. So I I'm a, I'm a long hair motherfucker hair. trapped in a short hair motherfucker. Yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> oh, Dahmer, dude. Yeah, I have a major Dahmer look if I grow my hair out. So scary. Wear my glasses. <laughs> yeah. Scare people out of this, this back yeah. to the Elcors and main room. Oh, yeah, they'll kick us out. Carolyn and I have been watching that show. It's oh, fucking yeah. You want to watch some movies? I'll give crazy. you $50. Oh, it's yeah. Aggr- it, dude, it's aggressive. I <laughs> I've been working on it. I've been working on that one. Oh my God. I've been waiting to debut that one for you. Come on, just some pictures. Uh, oh, I just... I, so. I just want to take some pictures. Oh, here's a good one. Ready? Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more of Evan Peters doing from the show. <laughs> wow. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, okay. Before, before we get too sidetracked, because I wanted to do this Too last late. week with Richie, but we didn't. I want. I, what's your gear? I need to know about your gear. What are you using? Oh, rig rundown, dude. Okay. Rig rundown. Uh, duo. Starting with the pick. The pick. <laughs> what kind of pick do you use? Oh, it's like the pink, um, pink pick, like the Ernie Ball or something. Dunlop nice. Or something. More nice. gain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I use a, like a DS2 and a fuzz pedal. Depends on how the I feel. Wait, they the made. One? I'm sorry. They made a follow up. To the DS1? Yeah, There's yeah. a DS2? It sounds a little bit thicker. It has a little bit more low end. What I color like is it? Though? Orange. It's orange. Okay. Is it orange? It's orange. Yeah. Does it look exactly like a DS1? Yeah, it just has an extra knob. It's a one and two. But like the one switch apparently is the DS1, but I think it sounds thicker. I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you get two pedals in one? You get yeah, the DS1? Get, and the DS2, which is like more of a mid-range, like so, ACDC. So the extra knob, like you can blend DS1 with DS2 and no. adjust the levels? What's can, the extra knob? That's like, oh, if you want DS2 sound, you go up to two. If you want DS1, you go up to two. Oh, okay. Yeah. But that's like my main distortion pedal for live stuff. For like studio stuff, I always mix things around. Like I'll like, I have like two different amps. I have a Fender, uh, what is it called? A Fender, like, uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Either way, it's supposed to be like the 50s. So it has one volume knob and one tone. And oh, you're spo- interesting. Oh, Fender Vaporizer. 
So they only huh, made they only made one. them for like one year. They're like a special edition. My girlfriend bought it for me for my birthday. Sick. Yeah. Nice. Is it a tube amp? Yeah, all tube. And then I have a, a twin reverb. Nice. It is nice. My main go to. Nice. And then I'll probably get a PV for shows because I like PV and Duo Sonic. That's all I use. Yeah, that's the only guitar. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have more. Like I have a. I don't even know what that is. What is that? The blue. With the maple. Oh, I thought that was a Fender. It's a Fender. That's the Fender, yeah. Oh, it is a Fender. Yeah, it has. Um, it's is it a similar strat? to Mustang. No, it's similar to Mustang or a body. Duo Sonic is what it is. But it has the Duo Sonics usually have single coil pickups. Mine has two at the uh, bridge, and I usually only use bridge pickup because I like two sing- wait two co- uh, two pickups for the bridge or whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, the humbucker. Yeah, two. Gotcha. Yeah, you know more about that than me. No but, worries, uh, I got you. <laughs> and then what kind of cables do you use? I don't know, some like Roadhog pick cable. <laughs> I don't know. Just, Live wire. Some sort of, sort of cable that I usually like have to get a new one like every what year. What kind of cables, pedals, and amps do you use? Roadhog. <laughs> Roadhog. <laughs> Roadhog or Warthog or something, but it's got a pig oh, on I it. Oh, I got one. Do you use That's drum? That's a great guess. Uh, drum. Um, somebody. Cages? Fuck drums. Drum, ca- <laughs> drum cages. Do you, do you use drum containers? To, to carry them or you just drum no. it up? No. We right. just respect. Take it you apart, just carry them naked? The car yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep them nude. Throw Keep them, them nude, nude, huh? I hated that. When, well, they were never my drum. Like mine, I wouldn't really care. It came with, yeah, you got the, that was the best thing about that drum set is you got all the bags with it. Oh, bags. Yeah, that's the word. You bags. got the bags. Drum bags. That, like that's, bags. That's, That'll keep it from scratch. That's probably one of our next, or at least my next purchase. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did a show Let's, uh, for, a, a while back, but one of the guys that was on the, on the uh, show with us, he was like, "Yeah, I'm telling you, for your symbols, at least get a symbol bag. That's all." Yeah, yeah, yeah And yeah, so, yeah. like, that that's sense. probably the next thing that I should get. Give a stick definitely. bag. Yeah, yeah. Stick bag. We're pretty thrashy, but I, I like to think like if something's getting broken or cracked, it adds more sound. Yeah, yeah. You know, it does. It changes if, the sound. If a tube's dying, leave it in because then it adds something different. My you know? my amp is 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 there. I don't even know how many tubes are working out of the. Yeah, five that are in there. Especially, I get told a lot, dude. You're hitting way too hard. Calm it down. Calm it down. It's, hard, it's okay. It's hard and I'm to like, look. dude, no, because you want to look like aren't... you're crashing. You <laughs> yeah. know, so you gotta like, yeah. it's the Chester Bennington theory. He's so, like, ah! but he's he's chill, dude. He's doing it right. He's got somehow fry. somehow busting up, but he's uh-huh. doing it right. Yeah. What were you saying, sir? Uh, so what kind of drum set do you have? Uh, Thomas Swingstar. Um, I am like. The least drummer of all drummers. I don't know. You're not a he's, like, dr- he's like Justin. Justin yeah. was. He's like, I don't fucking Our drummer, care about yeah, my he drums. Just plays the drums. I, I like, whatever, a, man. It's a drum set. God, what's that snare though? I, like I, an, I, just, oh, I don't. just got a it's Sono. A fat, yeah, it's a fat one though. Yeah, it's like a Sono something. It looks like pearl white. Pearl white. Like a road hog. It's, it's pretty dope. <laughs> I just got it not too long ago. It sounds like, pretty metal. Yeah. Yeah. Our, fat and wide. My snare was just the uh, stock. Uh, the wire. Catcher or whatever the fuck it's called on the side, like it was oh, yeah, little breaking ch- off and all that. The switch. And so mm-hmm. we went bought a new snare, and then we come home. My dad texts me during the week, "Hey, did you go and get a snare?" Yeah. Well, why'd you do that? Well, Gear. we needed a new snare. Gear, Dad. And he's yeah. like, "Well, your birthday wasn't too long ago. I got you a snare." <laughs> and so we were like, uh, "Fuck!" Nice. So luckily. <laughs> Guitar Center took it back, course, gave us all yeah. our money back, so we were like, "Great!" Cool. But yeah, the one my dad got, it was like, yeah, like a Sono something. Well, yeah, mm. it looks pearl white. It's that's, nice. It's yeah, definitely nice. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Vic Firth sticks? Is it Vic uh, Firth that does the sticks? Yeah, it's like the basic. The sticks I use, I like the Promark. Promark Neil Pert signatures. Oh, I knew my, the Promark logo. My uncle, my uncle used. My, what what are my uncle these? used to drum so he was like these are the sticks i used to use that's cool and so he got them for me for You're like indoctrinated into drums you got a yeah. family helping you with so stuff. yeah because my uncle uh on my mom's side he drummed and then my uncle on my dad's side uh he oh, drums no, too oh, got, and so nice it was kind of just i got a my drum set probably i think it was like 14 or 15 <laughs> maybe earlier mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then i was very Practice, practice, practice here and there. Did you know you always wanted to do drums? Uh, or was it not to reset? Kinda. Yeah. Well, I was very off and on with drums because I was like, 
school work all that Mm -hmm. kind of stuff kind of got in the way Mm -hmm. and then during the pandemic it was like well my mom told me quit your job because i worked at taco bell at the time yeah she's like quit your job because i have a heart issues so she's oh, like yeah. yeah you're immunocompromised really? so, it's, it's ironic because he plays drums so i was gonna say <laughs> you're like the most cardiovascular yeah. fucking oh, instrument by the time we're done with yeah. every show i'm like <laughs> <Yeah>. strap me <laughs> in and my mom's, my mom's coming monitor. over with a water are you okay are you, i promise mom i'm okay <laughs> I'm, so like, I'm sitting there like play harder faster <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah basically were you too. fucking rushing yeah. or fucking dragging yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're dragging. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. Splash so, water in his <laughs> Wake the fuck up! <laughs> so, so, yeah, during the pandemic, it was like, I quit my job, came home, and then for, like, the first, like, two months, it was, like, not doing anything. Just sitting yeah. watching YouTube. Yeah. I got so bored so quick. Do you guys go down to the, just to the, the pit of YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, oh, On Stars I sh- compilation. I show him... <laughs> I show him consistently because I have YouTube premium plus yeah. plus Same. I, you know, have my job where I'm driving all the time. So that's basically all I'm on mm-hmm. consistently, oh, right, right. like at least 70 hours a week on YouTube. I, I spend bet. Like, yeah. a lot of time. I feel it, dude. I would never go without premium. Yeah. I oh, yeah. I, I went without my phone for a few weeks before I went without premium, which is hilarious. <laughs> Which You're like, a, I gotta keep which paying was a that nightmare. I would bucks. rather <laughs> just not take calls. I can't stand these ads. Yeah. <laughs> but, I would never watch those ads. Oh my God. So, yeah, so I was like, uh, just got bored real quick. And then I started, I went down into our like basement area at my mom's house. And I was like, oh, yeah, my drums are here. Uh, I forgot. So I started right. practicing again, started getting back into it. And th- I'd probably had taken three four years off of drums like i didn't touch them once mm-hmm. and then finally i caught back on them and then it was like what maybe two three months not even it was like a week oh really where he, like, <laughs> it must have been only a it must have been like a, at least a month well he posted on snapchat him playing drums and i was like oh you got your kit back he goes yeah it's at my mom's and i was living in seattle mm-hmm. and working construction and i hated my life out there mm-hmm. and so i would drive home every weekend yep. to port orchard yep. And then one day I was like, "You have a drum Holy kit." Holy shit! Yeah, because two he, hours and forty minutes every every. Oh Friday. my fucking lord! And He's I had, a dad, he, so he has to comment yeah. on any sort of commute. Oh comments. my god! No AC in my uh, Prius. Oh, so I was sweating. Oh. Fuck! I would. Yeah, I have heat well, in so Port now. Orchard, you gotta take. I mean, you gotta take I five the whole yep. fucking way. Yeah. Oh yeah. He can't even cut over on one sixty. Well, I guess you could. Hey, you could cut over on 167. <laughs> I tried, I tried right taking the, the ferry that. home. It was like even worse. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything I did. So I just, I would, our work That's didn't like overtime. Horrible. So I'd work extra hours in the weekday. I'd show up at like three in the morning just to get off early on Friday. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I would load everything in my uh, Prius, my guitar at the time. Which I smashed that one, and then uh, my Vox, my dude, Vox. These little... guys are so metal. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. these guys are cool. It was I had a guitar, but I fucking oh, smashed it. Oh, it was, it was over because of stupid. Sh- it was because of a show that we played. It no, was that was just... my amp I smashed. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, <laughs> that I time it was just like things, yeah. we were we were both pissed. He, we get to like the end of our set, and just the whole time it's like everybody in the crowd, nobody's paying attention. The audio sucked. The audio was just he'd be. So, like I said, when he's tuning his guitar, he likes to talk in between, mm-hmm. get the crowd involved, stuff like that. He's like in in the middle of his sentence, and the mic just cuts out. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, Ugh. and so he just, oh, he told yeah. me one of the times, I didn't hear it, but one of the times he's like, goes to start a sentence, and he purposely just stops, and people just still not yeah. even looking. Yep. Yep. And so he's just like, that hurts. He just looked back at me. He's like, "This is the last song. Let's get the fuck out of here." Yeah. I was like, "All right, cool." <laughs> so I just played as hard as I could, and then at the end, he's just smashing yeah. the hell out of it. And they I'm, look, did they look then? Some, some, some did. Some, some, did. some were like, 
Yeah, some all of them. Yeah, oh, some of them were like, dude, that was a great show. I was like, yeah, I smashed my amp. I was too mad. And they go, you smashed your amp? Yeah, they didn't like, even know. They came up and said, that was a great show. You're like, yeah. I was raging. I was rage yeah. quit this show. <laughs> yeah. I literally just yeah. rage quit. I like, live performance. Yeah, it was. I purposely turned up my amp like <laughs> max. I don't think I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where was this? Where was this? It was what? like Port Townsend or okay. something. It was yeah. some shit venue. That, yeah, it was really mm-hmm. bad. There were nice well, people, but just right. bad it's, sound. It definitely was like a. It was like almost like That's it awesome. should be like a sports so bar. Crazy. It's it yeah. didn't even look because right. like the place that we played was like the stage way up was high. like 10, 15 feet up. It's it like weird. Whoa, it was, really? it was called, it was this weird. is this is called paying your dues, people. Yeah. Pay attention. You want to <laughs> wow. be a musician? It's fun. There was a lot of people it, there, but it's they worth didn't it. care. They were yeah. more into hip hop, so it was like a uh, weird weird which, scene. Which I mean makes sense because it was our friend who yeah, who we were, asked us to play the show, yeah. and they're a rap crew, so we were like. All right, and then yeah, you think the vibe would? You think it would somehow like you guys are fun enough to? We were hoping that it would yeah, <laughs> would get them the that we we were, get the... them going for our friends, but no. You talking about the junk science show? Yeah, the club sir. I found some footage of that with like the whatever it was like the opener. It was like us and then like two bands and two rappers. And it was a big. It was like yeah, an online thing where they so reach out bizarre. to random people and, and reach out to random venues and put the show together that way. Yeah, yeah. So there was no communication between anybody. So we Weird. get there. Nobody knows what's going on. The sound guy is like, I work for them. And I'm like, well, so do we, I guess. And there's yeah. no one here to represent that company. Well, we got the aftermath. How do you think you did? Uh, I feel like I couldn't have done any better. <laughs> and Aaron ended up buying 30 tickets or something. So we made like 300 bucks. Our roommate, or his brother, my roommate, he's the he lives in the upstairs. Where it's always dark and yeah, quiet. That sounds suspicious. There's a dog like, up there. <laughs> he's really. You don't want to go up. To, he's no, been a kidding. he's been a vampire our entire life. He <laughs> yeah. always just like like even when I came home from school, all the lights would be fucking off, and he would just be <laughs> sitting in the basement like. <laughs> oh, so he's done that before this house. I oh my god! Yeah, that's that there. is just he's yeah. Me and, yeah, he's not. The TV's not even on. He's sitting there. I'm like, are you sleeping or awake? I can't even tell. <laughs> oh, dude. Doing? Yeah. Me and Carolyn, we used to call him the deer because he would spend like 15 hours in his in his room yeah. uh, back home, and then he would just come out just to eat food, and then the he'd deer. go back. <laughs> the oh, because like the, a fucking deer. He's in the woods, and yeah, he, he just goes away. in the dark and hibernates most oh of the day, God. and he comes out to eat food, That's and he funny. goes back to sleep. We'll probably see him. He'll come walk the dog I, outside. I've done that before. I do You've lived that life? Yeah. I used to listen to like AM radio. On like some like it was like some political thing. I don't know what it was, but I would just sit in my room and lay with my cat. <laughs> dude, he's more he's more dad than I am. Yeah, he, is, dude. he listens to AM radio. That's like yeah. next level. I still do. I listen. That is next level that dad is, shit. Yeah. Every morning when I wake up for work, it's like I'll listen to AM sports radio just because I like the sound. Mm-hmm. I used to listen to that. It's very like staticky and crunchy, and I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't know what the heck they're talking about. It could be about basketball. I'm just like, yeah, it's your comfort. Like, yeah, your sweet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like yeah. conversation for sure in the background. Mm-hmm. That used to drive me fucking nuts when I was a kid. <laughs> Dry, like go, do, going anywhere with my dad the during like game. Mariners season yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like I want to listen to music and he's just got fucking the Mariners I gotta get the game why and the game's just <sighs> Dave Newhouse we're gonna yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be home in like 10 minutes can I get some songs let's go mm-hmm. yeah yeah I'm, I'm pretty boring I like I just like my little things I actually have a boomer coffee cup now just the, what is it the little mug that keeps your coffee warm I've grown into that where I start to drink. Oh, the big boomer boy. Yeah, like the boomer boy. Yeah, what are they called? I have one of those too. Therm- thermal cups or yeah, whatever. Something good. Yeah, but it, it gives me coffee breath and, you know, I'm like, man, I am turning into a baby boomer. <laughs> yeah, I'm a baby boomer, son. <laughs> yeah, I eat oatmeal every day. Mustakas to the plate. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, and one, the count. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your Dahmer is better. <laughs> I'll work on that. I'll work on my commentator. <laughs> yep. Nice. All right. Well, I think I'm going to move over to this area over here and play some videos. What do you think? Yep. Yeah, let's do yep. it. Let's I got some good it. shit this week. Uh, I got a quick question for, for Ethan. Oh, and I got samples too. Uh, how do you decide which nail to paint black and which one to paint red? Black and red are my favorite colors. And I literally just did it because... I do this a lot. I was going to say, it's going to be And so I was this. like, okay. I just got to do the oh, opposite. Ah, That's the only reason. Okay. I was just fair like, fair I, question. I like the, I like the look. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, this is just, nice. This is for you. Sidebar, real quick. But you, yeah, this is all the the. the but the, then also, if you flip somebody off, they get a black and a red middle <laughs> finger. They do right. They get. It. That's fucking sweet. Can, can okay, so that me? that's actually genius. Try to stand out as. And much if you as give possible. somebody a thumbs up, do you have a black and red thumb too? <laughs> Holy fuck! I mean, you could have just painted all one all red. One wow! Red. And then it all. Nah, bro. I gotta. I gotta be stagnant dude. I do these because then because look because it threw me off right it's it a is. nice conversation it starter makes you, it makes you have a conversation I, I can't be the only one that noticed that and was like how does he fucking but he but then it's genius actually i noticed i just don't I say just, anything right. i know about yeah it. i saw it too yeah, I didn't <laughs> say shit. No, all right check it out these are the handful of samples I, I went through and finally found all the ones about balls okay oh well, what about your big old nuts though <laughs> that's huh? the original nuts Mm. Your Her. balls aren't big enough. I talk about balls so much. My nuts are too big to do that. <laughs> yeah, so he can he touch like, my balls. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, these are from you guys, huh? Yeah. Okay. I do have balls and shoes. You Is forget that... your balls in the garage? <laughs> what about like, your big old? You said you have a big dick. It got warped. I have friends that have like real balls. RJ. <laughs> RJ. Wish he could be here. He'd be good for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yours are all about balls. Never. They're always about balls. <laughs> I have all about balls. Mine are all about balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I do this because we said it the same fucking way and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> and then the last one, Steven, it's my favorite. Oh my God. Look at your fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that There's one. a handful of samples. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so is this, your, is this your only music video or do you have videos for... Oh. We have one more music video for Waiting, Waiting for, for Love. love. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you got to... Okay, you got to pull that up. And then we have that. That is like I love all your guys' songs, but I think this is my favorite. Yeah, this one was really fun. And we filmed it in public, so a lot of people were like, "Why are they dressed like this? And what is going on?" Yeah, That's we were, so good. As we were walking on the beach, oh this shit, lady this looks was dope too. Is that, is is that the Narrows Bridge? Yeah, that's the Narrows. I envisioned this thing like right when I made the. Riff. I have. I did listen to this actually because I, I remember. Wish, I wish riff. I had bass on this. I, I didn't. We didn't have a bass on this song. We just decided not to do it. Sounds good? Yeah. It sounds great. That's a, a silver tone guitar from the 60s. Oh, dude, the knee bob. <laughs> this looks like a fun one to make. I was smoking a CBD cigarette, and I was coughing a lot. I don't smoke, but... And I I can't grow facial hair that well, so my girlfriend penciled in a stash for me to like, make it darker. When, when oh, we that, went, that, that's hilarious. When we went and shot each shot, once we we got already got to the spots, and it was like, wait, did I forget my throne? And I was, yeah. Waiting for love, waiting for love. We're gonna redo this for our album next year. We're gonna oh, we're gonna beef it love, up. Waiting for love. I was um trying to copy John Lennon a lot yep. in this in this I video see it, yeah. with the knees. I always loved that when he does that in the videos. Oh yeah, I could see that. That's a Port Orchard right there. Yeah. That's a Port Orchard too. That's my favorite scene. But yeah, we got to the spots, realized I forgot my throne, and so it worked out perfectly. The it rock? Looks, yeah. It looks even better, me sitting on a rock and a stump. That's a creative, that's a um, necessity breeding creativity yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 for sure. You're going to love the bridge. We got our buddy who's like our mascot for the band. <laughs> <laughs> Just random shirtless shot. This reminds me of Jordan Waits, dude. Uh, he, he still has a oh the podcast. Oh my God, yeah. But he, lo- he would do this move. He would do all this. But he wouldn't sing this in tune. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate the universe if you guys don't get famous. <laughs> How right. do they not get famous? <laughs> I got a Thank feeling you. maybe one There day. is... What is not to love <laughs> about this? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think... Oh, <laughs> you can see the fucking tapping on yeah. the guitar? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, who's that? That's yeah. our buddy, Brian. <laughs> This is a great video, dude. This makes me want to make videos. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I love video making. It's like my second passion. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. And I just I don't know. I just love making funny videos. So that mustache is drawn on. <laughs> yeah, it's a drawn on stash. 
Oh, hell yeah, another chorus. I thought it was going out there. Yep, no, he always ended with the chorus. Keep them hyped. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Is that guitar really light, or are you just hella strong, dude? Oh, it's, it's super light. It's super tiny, too. Yeah, yeah, the silver tones. Is that what you said? Yeah, it's a silver tone. It plays like shit. Yeah, yeah. And so I... It's a good I, for video. Yeah, it's great for video, but for actual recording, it's, like, intonated so bad poorly that I just... This is the su- the duo Sonic or whatever in the recording. Yeah, that, no, that is actually that's before I got the duo Sonic. That is a, a Fender pawn shop. Yeah, my yeah, uncle yeah. gave it to me for free, and uh, it had like Texas Heat pickups, and it like it was just it plays like crap, but it's awesome <laughs> for the song. Yeah. You know, that's dope. Um, quick question: How long have you guys known each other? Uh, like 10 years oh, okay 15, right yeah no, feels about right seventh grade high, yeah. eighth grade yeah Tight. Our, our 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 school was a junior high so it was seventh eighth through ninth so when i was 14 same yeah 13 yeah we met Are you guys from here originally no we're from port orchard i mean, or, I mean washington anyway yeah yeah, yeah washington yeah, yeah. i right was on. born in bremerton so oh right on very Bomber cool town yeah I feel like the only band out there is like MXPX that people know of. Oh, I didn't know they were even from there. Yeah, yeah. Bremerton. Yeah. Steven played a gig there once. Charles- yeah. Charleston? The Charleston. Yeah. This gets brought up at least uh-huh. every five podcasts probably. Because <laughs> uh, fucking Charleston, I try man. To th- I try to think of a way to 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 make a jerk off joke about it every time. Yeah. It, it's a great. Yeah. Honestly, I love that venue. <laughs> we and, love playing there. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah. dope. We made like two hundred bucks one night off of there. That's real money for yeah. original music, and you guys barely split it. Or ha- do you have? a bass player live but sometimes we have them live sometimes we don't it nice. just really depends if we don't if we don't it's like we try to get our friend to do it yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. if it's like he doesn't have time or he's got other things that he's got to do it's like yeah, right, i guess get, we don't have bass this time you get Let's steven's number he uh he's a great bass player oh, dude our songs are so easy and he never play, takes man. credit and he stands in the back he does his job <laughs> oh yeah you can, you can just, pelvic thrust you can do whatever you want yeah. nope We've got, we've got, they won't even notice me. The most he'll do is wear short shorts, and that's fine. I give him the, I give him the thigh. That's fine. Yeah, the, I give him the thigh for uh, our friend Brian, the one that was in the music video for when he played bass for us a couple times, and anytime he didn't have uh, a song where he didn't play bass in it. He was just the interpretive dancer yeah. the whole time. Just, yeah. Fine. <laughs> Fun shows. We got to go see you. Uh, we'll do gig plugs at the end, too. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what yeah. you guys have. Okay, check this out. This segment is called Rock's Talks, where my buddy Rock sends me talks, and they're generally pretty funny. So we're going to start with this one. Speaking of Woodstock 99. What? I kind of like this. Oh, I do like this song. The chord structure is great. It's that same kind of like floaty yeah. major chord. Me, down on me. Yeah. Steve Austin versus The Rock, WrestleMania 18. <laughs> what is this instrument, you think? Uh, it looks like one of those touch tunes. Back in the day, like guitar touch tunes, but for a synth. Yeah, for those of you that are just listening and not watching, which is nobody because we only post to YouTube, this is a weird-looking phone instrument. Yeah, it's like looks like a freaking Apple keyboard, like yeah, old school technology. Yeah. My way or the highway. <laughs> it looks Someday cool. you. <laughs> I actually started. How did I learn how to mix? Was making synthesizer music, and I think that's probably a good way to start too. Everything's mixed kind of or it's all recorded yeah which is the hard part and i think after like okay our, that was tight that was really cool our idea is to do like a garage rocky style album maybe like another like grungy style thing or whatever and then i think like after a while we're gonna do like a new wave devo synthesizer thing dude oh man That's, i can't wait to hear any of that stuff you guys are doing yeah yeah i, I love all these ideas this is cool yeah i'm glad I, you guys came on you i think for the first people that hit me up almost really maybe yeah because we were scheduled earlier but we yeah. had to reschedule yeah we got, got the vid yeah or i got vid and then i uh do you get bad vid or the okay vid recent okay. recent vid is okay, okay right vid, yeah <laughs> i haven't heard of any like real bad vids nah it was I lately mean, lately I just wasn't feeling well. I didn't know if it was... I just was not feeling well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to get anybody sick. And then I just 
yeah some other stuff came up so we kind of had a you were like yeah no but now yeah maybe yeah it's finally in the building yeah. and that was one of the worst <laughs> jokes you will ever hear on band house podcast well i can't promise that <laughs> I, I reach. There's been some bad ones. I, I reach shoot for them sometimes. Yeah, yeah, there's I shoot been some for bad the ones. Stars. Yeah, and they can applaud. Oh me. my God! Look at your fucking <laughs> nuts! I have all about You're balls. All about balls. All about They're balls. always about balls. <laughs> I wanted to that do That sounded it, like a bunch of balls. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like a bunch of balls. All right, here's the next one. You guys seen this yet? No, but I already like it. You guys think you're cool with two two band members only? It's like Frank Zappa's alive. Yeah, dude, this guy's. It's the most viral thing I've seen in a while. Oh, Ooh, yeah. And it's good. It's not just a gimmick. I think that's a silver tone he's got, too. Coincidentally, this is right up your guys' vibe, too. Uh huh. I'm alright. <laughs> this is more white stripes. Yeah. Dude, he mutes the guitar and the drums. Or just the guitar. I was like, hey, you don't have that many hands. I'd pay money to see him play live. His tour, he funded. So apparently I did some research. This video went viral and he used it to fund a Kickstarter for a tour. Wow. And he raised That's like, sick. I don't know, $10,000, $5,000 or something. So he's wow. on tour doing this set, doing this show. I love how one of the, look, one of the tags is Hugh Hefner. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? On Instagram, I tag, uh, who, who, I tag, uh, uh, I tag all kinds of shit. Who's, who's that? Soja Boy. I tag Soja Boy. Oh, yeah? You give him the tag. Respect. I'm always like, thanks for showing up to our show, Soja Boy. I'm going to just keep harassing him. <laughs> Maybe he'll notice. Like, Soja Boy. Yeah, I don't know. I just, of all people, I've been, I've been doing, I've been That's tagging fucking it. genius. Yeah. Yeah. I've tagged Usher a few times. Eventually, yeah, you're going to get a call like, yeah. hey, stop <laughs> fucking tagging yeah, me. Yeah, I I'm see hoping. it. I see it. <laughs> I do Rick Beato, too. You know, oh, smart. Yeah. I love me a good Rick Beato. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start tagging him, too. Yep. Let's tag him in everything. Some bullshit music theory that we'll <laughs> just start saying. Oh, that yeah. video where you give me chords and I play them all wrong, and you're like, that didn't sound right. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's that was because it wasn't. It was horrific. That instrument is hard to play, the Ableton push. It does yeah. look hard. It looks a little I put difficult. it on like a chromatic mode so that all the notes are available, like a piano, but right. anyway. It still looks difficult. I couldn't yeah. do it. All right, here's the last one, and I've seen this one already. I can tell. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuits. We're getting a lot of uh, of rocks talks flair right yeah. now. This is his. Nobody wants to eat that biscuit anymore. I don't have my glasses. I can't really see her. It's pretty small, isn't it? Is she oh, back to this guy. Frank Zappa. How do we get it bigger? You think? Well, that made it way smaller. <laughs> and back to this guy again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Killing it. Biscuits. Oh, God. An older lady and an older guy. That's basically. But what is her outfit? Yeah. Is, I, I don't know if she's wearing like. I know. Is that belly? Is that no, belly? it's a um, biscuit she's talking about. It's a shirt. Or? It almost uh, looks like Aunt No, May. that's not and the like, biscuit she's uh, talking the about. Toby okay. McGuire. Okay. Look at that walk off. That's Look. almost what it looks like. <laughs> Taste the biscuit. Woo! Hey, hey. That is horrible. That's a baller ending, though. Yeah, I like that. What is that, like a Roland Cube that he's Yeah, I don't know if it's worth even there. diving into, really. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's Fuck. cool, huh? That was horrible. All right. There is nothing redeeming about that. I kind of want to watch that one video again, the the Frank Zappa guy. Dude, Just he's like, good. Um, what's the, his name? I forget. You'll see it. It'll roll around your social media before too long. Okay, good. He's so good. And if not, just text me. I'll find it. All right. Last segment before we do a little tune, a little tune. Sing, a song singing, oh, yeah, if you will. Right. We're going to try it. Okay, so I sent out a message just to the world on Facebook. Right. People to send this. me music. Cool. So I'm going to pick one, or if you guys see one, I'm just scrolling. There's 99 submissions, so we're just kind of looking for something more rock and roll. Oh, is that like that Ronald guy, but I don't know what he makes. Well, hold on, let's find him. This guy, you oh, like that beard? Yeah. I do love a good SoundCloud link. Ronald Ben Beer Beard Garden. Good pick. This looks familiar, dude, this picture. Okay, well, the quality is like one out of ten, blue so Yeti. he's going to have to blow Yeti. me away. This is the Blue Yeti. <laughs> yeah. Good playing. Good singing. Good lyrics. It's not bad, but it looks like he like took like a EQ and just went like this, like raised it all the way up. 
I don't want to be mean though. You know right. What I mean? yeah. well, that's why I was like, the quality could be better, but everything else is dope. Yeah. Sign. I love that lick. That's fresh. Yeah. I feel like I'd go to like a coffee bar or something. I'd go to a beer garden. And see him playing in the background. Mm-hmm. You know? That's the gigs I do. That's pretty much what I do for a living yeah. is with this guy. <laughs> The first like real gig I did was at this place called the Whiskey Gulch. Tell me and about I, the Whiskey Gulch. It was like an acoustic session, but like you know, I sing with some aggression, and so I kept like blowing up the speakers, and so the guy kept walking back and forth and turning me down, turning me up, and I feel it. I wasn't really allowed to go back and perform again for yep. a while because he was like, "You, you need to." You're done. You're <laughs> yeah, done. You're done. <laughs> we're drinking coffee, too much. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I felt for breaking my shit doing um, wineries, man. I was just like, I'm singing too loud. I don't. Know. Uh-huh. Okay, so this guy's got an acoustic guitar, but there's a fucking JCM 412 half sack behind him so let's find let's fall in i'm gonna go by what cost me i like like the origin music whatever the heck that is oh, oh original song live. this one <laughs> it is live it's better than i can play i mean it's got that claw thumb yep It's got a vibe for sure. Yeah, it's really good. He sounds good. Okay, you got the band house approval of Dan Bowen. He sounds good. Nice job, more. Dan Bowen. You sound good. On another. We have music playing at the bar while he's playing. Or the football game's blasting off. Alright, well it's good, but that um talking. He needs a like in the a background producer just to record him professionally. Hell yeah, Dan. Yeah, you were awesome. Yeah, Wait, he, let's give him the wow. Sounds good. Give him like a. He needs like an old school like preamp to kind of give that sort of overdriven, warm sound that like the Motown singers had. You know, that's yeah. What, that's what he needs. Dude, I feel like with, trust Marshall. Do you dude. use Marshall's mic preamps, man? When you record? Yeah, I use like dumpster preamps anything i find anything i find for cheap i mean it doesn't even need to be tube it could be pre, uh, solid state but i use a like expression on our new ep everything is just red everything's in the red um the uh it sounds just, dope though <laughs> it's like uh, my uncle so like i was so they were in a famous band called the sonics and so that's how i got into garage oh, rock and stuff okay so that's no why shit. i mentioned it but the reason i want to bring it up is because they uh they were um these guys here? Oh, yeah, the blue guy. <laughs> yeah, yep, I was yep, like, yep. are you sure they weren't on a basketball team? No, yeah. I feel like that's good. a basketball team. I keep clicking cool, and it turns the into this. <laughs> that's, is that your uncle right there? Yeah, that's him right there. <laughs> so he was the uh, guitar player and, and bass. Uh, my other uncle was the bass player, but I'd ask him, I was like, how did you guys get the sound? And they were like, oh, we... Uh, we would just record in the red and my grandpa would yell at them and say, you're distorting your signal. And this is before they really had like distortion, wow. distortion. And, um, so I was like, all right, I'm this guy here. Yeah. That's Andy. That's my ba- That's my uncle. That's the bass player. And then Larry is the guitar player and he's way, way too talented. Like, I mean, I jam out with him sometimes and it's, you've might've heard their songs like have love will travel. That is probably like their biggest hit. It's a cover of uh, Chuck Berry, I believe, but it's this is like the superior version. Black Keys, dude. This is not Google. <laughs> they keep making me use something else. Yeah, yeah. So this is like the <laughs> biggest hit. But gain. It's you the, that gain, Stephen. Listen to the drum. Yeah, he's got one, the OG screen. One mic on the snare, and that was it. And like Kurt Cobain even said, this is like the greatest drum sound he's ever heard. It, that like, it that, is a good sound. Yeah, it's. I've. I'm still trying to figure out how they did this. So I try to. I try to do what they do. I have a reel to reel too, and I still can't. Still can't master it. Here's one, what I like, dude. The you have a reel to reel. Yeah, it's my uncle's. So he gave it to me, but I. Wow. Do you guys know about the Shags? RJ oh, really know. should be here right now. I know the Shags. Makes it, sense. Yeah. Because it was a Nirvana thing. They knew the Shags. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know how I got into them. I think it was like, 
I don't know how. I think it was like a documentary or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a YouTube video going around probably. Uh-huh. That's where I got into them. Well, I think I wanted but to call I my band. I freaking love it. <laughs> I wanted to call my band originally the Shags with a G, and I looked up the Shags. Oh. And that, I think that's how I discovered the Shags. And I was it's like, Halloween. It's <laughs> Halloween. It's time for scares. It's time for screams. It is Halloween, dude. Well, I mean, it's coming up. Hell yeah. It's really hard to play like poorly like that. So they have like something there because I can't even play like the fact that they're like not listening to each yeah. other and they're doing mm-hmm. their own tempos and somehow it like makes, makes a weird thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's bizarre. It probably I just feels good because I completely cause disagree. I, I know. I find none of that pleasant to listen to. I think it's because I study like music so much mm-hmm. of like the way everything's supposed to be yeah. that like you hear something and it's like, well, that ain't it. Yeah. Like, you can't do that. Or what about them? Um, <laughs> nope, can't do that. I should have learned. God, this isn't Google either. I bet you Google will get it. Google. Perfect. Get Googled. I should have learned. What is this? And John Benjamin, voice actor, you'll know his voice. I mean, I guess because it's. Or his face. Album. Oh, yeah. There's more. Like, there's more pressure, maybe. There's a moment when I hear the song for the first time. And then there's a moment where I play the song for the first time. So he gets a full jazz band. They're so good. I don't play piano at all. (laughs) (laughs) God, he's funny, man. He's so good. Oh my god! Channel the Uncharted Zone. Mm -mm. Oh man, you are. He's this guy. Yeah, and his most popular video. I can't remember the name, but he. They have some weird videos. Um, I can't remember the guy, but the most popular one that everybody knows. It's like. It's these underground green screen like music videos that oh, no. he posts. It's like every week he's got one, and they're pretty good. Like honestly, they're bad but good. But like, is it their most viewed? Yes, yeah, their most you can, viewed. One. You can uh, go where it says sort by. Oh yeah, we got the YouTube expert. Right oh, here. you got a sort by option. Uh, oh, I the, see. It. Yeah, yeah, and then it should be most popular. Oh, there it is. That one, Mark yeah. Mark Gomley. Yeah, without you. <laughs> Like I want to send my video to this guy because he'll do it. He'll oh, yeah. do it. But this this is like the space happy. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, Steve, Doctor Steve Brule, yeah, but with is. music videos. It I just is. watched that last night. Gormley, <laughs> this is a great song. It's very very intense. We tried to make the music video that way. So he does like music video production style oh, Mark too. Mark this guy up here is the channel, the, the YouTube channel. Yeah, guy. that's the guy on the right, and then he does like videos for these people. But like, okay, and the guy on the left's the artist. Yeah, this is Screams Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> oh, he makes the video for your song. Yeah, he makes. Oh, we the, gotta send him our songs. So. And and he'll <laughs> he'll post your song too. If you say, hey, can you post it on the Uncharted Zone? He'll be like, yeah, he'll sure. get more views than yeah. my channel would. <laughs> Dude, what is this? Him and his girl just going out to the island? It's like some Craigslist actor they found. Like, hey, we need a girl to yeah. start in a, a video. You don't think he knows any women? Probably not. If you're making this video. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the stance. That's a powerful stance. That's how I dress. <laughs> this is a real tenor. Yeah. Good melody, too. Mm-hmm. I used to listen to this sometimes. I'd study it. I feel like we could cover this and make it heavy and dope. Yeah. <laughs> Want to go back again? All by myself. Do a Creed version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dad All oh, by myself. <laughs> make it very butt rocky. Uh, let's go where we were. I think I was like right here. Anywhere he goes, good. Those are like. Photo stock images. 
That tone is <clears throat> stuck. That's like a strat. Uh-huh. Strat. DI. It's a DI <laughs> tone. Hey. Definitely Craigslist model. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not your girlfriend. You can tell where I get my inspirations from. The shots of the ocean, the VHS look. <laughs> and this lady. That's going to be this part of the uh, the interview is going to be, yeah, maybe inspirations. <laughs> and then put him right there. Dude, look at him. There's the thumbnail, just this guy. Yeah. People are like, what the hell is going on? I love how he beautifully cut off part of the moon. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't need a moon when you get hit. Where? Let's see. I didn't see it. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Screw it. He's the new moon right there. That's all I need to <laughs> The new at. moon. Mark Mark Gormley. God. Yeah, change your name to New Moon. <laughs> That's actually a pretty interesting band name. New Moon. New Moon. He's walking in the woods. This is horrifying. <laughs> Ooh, it's like what you, it is not bad in a way somehow. Yeah, it's not bad. Like you're like you you can't help but root for him. So you're dude, like, I like I like you. You look for the good stuff in everything. That's what yeah. I'm like. The shags. I'm like, listen to him go. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. I knew I'd, you 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 said something in the uh, ch- we were going back and forth. You're like, hang on, I gotta finish soldering some old copper wire in my grandma's basement. Oh yeah, dude. That <laughs> I was, was like, bad. this interview is gonna be dope. <laughs> I, do, I honestly I feel like I got some asbestos in me. Like, <laughs> oh well, grandma's houses have yeah, asbestos. grandma's houses. So it's I'm built on asbestos. Justice. Yeah, and so I'm I'm a plumber by day. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a career. Oh, that's right. That's right. You know, yeah, it's a good job. But like, you know, my grandma's like, ah, oh, they like wanted me to remodel their bathroom, and they like my aunt ripped out the cabinet and like bent the copper pipe, so I had to cut out the wall. Yeah, try to resolder, it, and there's like smoke in my face and steam everywhere. Mm. I lit the the drywall on fire, and like it was really bad, and it smells like burnt popcorn. And you sound like a really good plumber. You know, yeah. he tries, he tries, he tries, he tries. I am, follow, yeah. follow, yeah, maybe. Yeah, do not ask me to be your plumber. <laughs> you should have just, uh, you should have just redone it with Pex. Oh uh, well, I did shark bite. I did shark bite after like seven or, or eight yeah, times. why, yeah, why did you just shark bite it? <laughs> Fucking soldering. I don't know. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, and oh, my yeah. journeyman's not behind me. Let's just do it. But um. Oh, out. that's why you had yeah. to show off. Yeah, I was like, I was, uh, like, my grandma. I was like, Grandma, I'm a plumber now. Okay, yeah, so you just go ahead. <laughs> which I don't fit the vibe. I don't even have a plumber's crack. I really don't. I just that's weird. Yeah, yeah that's gonna be weird. Yeah, how can they trust? Those you? are very dad plumber shoes. Yeah, yeah. I think I got these at like Goodwill or something. I can't remember, but it yeah. might have not been. But um, have you heard of imposter syndrome? No. Do you ever get that? That's like when you like make it as a rock star and you like people look up to you like you're Van Halen and you're like, I don't feel like I'm that good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Do you get that with plumbing maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a plumber's crack. <laughs> I'm just a phony. I don't just fit a in. I'm just a paranoid plumber, man. Dude. You know, I've. It happens. Like whenever I do work, I always tell them leave the water off for hours. Let the let the fitting sit, and I'm like, for sure. I'm so scared to like flood a just house. Just never use it, probably though. Yeah. Just leave it sitting. Let just, it sit. Yeah, go get some water jugs and go poop in a hole. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not a plumber, man. I'm Pay a me plumber, money. Yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but. I mean, I love my job because I have freedom. Like, to play in Seattle, my company's like, yeah, I do it. They, yeah. they encourage it. They're like, if you need time off, do that's it. That's cool. So, like, I can yeah, work whenever. that's really fucking mm-hmm, cool. Mm-hmm. I can work yeah, however plumber jobs uh, At the risk of making a horrible Mario joke, plumber jobs have a lot of uh, availability. You can leave yeah. and come back. I can go anywhere. Yeah, and you like, can go any town, and I choose any what, tubes. I choose what jobs I want to do. Like, I don't do, like, poop jobs. <laughs> no do, poop. No, no, no poop, poop jobs. But I'll, I'll do remodels and like new construction, and I'll just sit and do what I need to do. And, okay. and you know, if I like one day I was like, I feel like only working four hours. I'm only gonna I'm gonna go work four hours and go home. Like yeah. I can do it. I have freedom, which is amazing. You know. So, yeah. but that's the only thing working trying to work around my schedule. Yeah, his schedule. What do you do? Than, I'm a delivery driver for a pharmacy. I'm like oh, yeah yours is shit's important yeah <laughs> so they get the pills to the place and the the so my job is in like the building is in tacoma but i deliver in olympia so i go to tacoma grab the stuff well first i package for the first like half of the day and then the second half mm-hmm. is go to olympia and deliver out in olympia mm-hmm. yeah. have you ever had like run-ins i've heard like horror stories of people like 
oh, running dude. down trucks and like stealing your shit. Oh no, nothing like that. But like you got the, attacked by a dog. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. The, I mean, it was a little dog, but <laughs> dude. That fucker bit bite, me, dude. dude. I saw the gas. The fucker bit me. Yeah. Yeah, like, it, it's definitely better now. What kind of dog was it? Like, just a scrappy little thing? Well, or like well, a I, I was... <laughs> no, I don't know. By the time I turned around, I was seeing red, so I didn't see... I don't know what the fuck oh, it was. shit. But, yeah. like, looking back on it, like, because they pulled up pictures, they're like, is it this dog? Is mm-hmm. it this dog? I don't know dog breeds. Right. And one of them was, like, one of the small um, pit bull looking dogs. And I was like... I was like, I think that's it. And they're like, that one, yeah, that one has a mean bite. Yeah, so that, you got fucked up. Yeah. That's the one. I was like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of fucking shit up, you guys want to sing some songs? Uh, we can try. How do you want to do it? Yeah, what were you thinking? I think we might do it acoustically. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do acoustic, Why Waste My Time? And then maybe we'll do another one with the drums. But we got to think. <laughs> we're I know. Gonna... I've got, like, stuff. i got shaky eggs if you want to shake Real quick, can you, uh, can you say some horrible shit about Epiphone? Oh, Just okay. so that we can keep this All going. All right. I am actually not an Epiphone guy. I will like I like yeah, S- just like everybody else. <laughs> SGs SGs play thick and, and they're good, but like old Epiphones, I will say they're great. Sure, but like the new no. ones, they're so their body <laughs> their body is so heavy. They're so he- top yeah. heavy, yeah. and I feel like I'm yeah, playing they're top like heavy. this. Yeah, and I just don't like that. I hate Epiphones. I think they're ugly looking guitars. Like I'm dead serious. I would rather have a awesome. surf guitar, Mustang guitar, Gold mine. Jaguar over any Epiphone, any yeah. day, yeah. any day. And I'm sorry, I, you know, Dave Grohl's got like an Epiphone, all this stuff. John Lennon is Epiphone. Yeah. yeah. But John Lennon they also all played suck. other the stuff one, too. Yeah. yeah. And he played and all other. Suck. John Lennon and They Duke. all suck. <laughs> They're the worst. <laughs> he I don't even Jaguar. know who they are. Dude, so many people were just like, because we did it like, mm. get yourself, I even put on a get yourself a Gibson. Because people love to say Epiphones are better than Gibsons, and there's good mm-hmm. arguments for that. But it's also great hate bait for the internet. I don't like Gibson or Epiphones. Yeah, I am anti. I mean, I like Fender, and I like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like really crappy thin necks, super thin. For sure, necks, I get you. And, and I just don't like Gibson or Epiphone. I've I, got that um, '89 Strat Plus. Got a nice thin maple neck. Mm-hmm, just, see, I haven't played it, and it's fret suck. No, you gotta new, get that fixed. Need mm-hmm. something. Need something fixed. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was a refret because I changed the strings and all the frets are still all buzzing at the same spot. Mm. Like the second fret on the G string, so every single chord and everything you ever play is right just, there. So yeah. I just can't um, do it. But yeah, I'm gonna pop over there and put some delay and reverb on there. Cool. You can use those two mics if you want. Just okay. like just put them up. I'm yeah. sure that's gonna work for your guys' tone. Yeah. One in a two in a three in a four. Check to be sure. 
was that? Hell yeah. <laughs> it was fucking sweet. <laughs> that was like minor a, four. Yeah, I heard that too. Minor no. four. That's the first song we uh, ever like wrote like together. Oh. All right, this is called Why Waste My Time. Up on the lyrics, okay. Let's keep that in there, though. I like that, okay. All right, three, two, one. You don't need to repeat yourself, cause I know that it's over. It's hard to be by myself, but I know that it's over. Better take. <laughs> yeah, ready?
There you go. Yeah, dude. <laughs> now you can't, now you gotta take this guitar from my hands because I won't stop holding it. Steven? All right, so now is the time. If you guys got a gig coming up, plug it. What do you got? What are you doing? Okay, we got, we're playing at Lucky Liquor, which I've never been to, but that's on the 22nd of October. And then we got a few Halloween parties that are private, but, you know, maybe if you're lucky, you'll get invited. Uh, <laughs> and then... We're playing at the Funhouse slash El Corazon in a few months. They're just trying to find the right band for us to open up for. So we'll see how that goes. I have my prediction, but I don't want to spoil it. So Where's the Lucky Liquor at? It's in like Tequila or something. We're playing the band yeah, Tequila, called Ball yeah. Bag, and they're really cool. <laughs> Yep. They're really cool. They actually opened up for Max Sabbath the other day. They're really cool. They're like old school punk. Oh, shit. And um, we played with them before, and they're really nice, really cool people. Um, and they asked us to open up for them, and I said, yeah. You know, we take every opportunity we can get. So You weren't like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> well, I... I sometimes that's why we called our band yeah maybe is because that's the response I give to people when they like ask me to All hang out I'd yeah. be like yeah maybe and then I wouldn't I'd flake oh can we gift you our, your t-shirt oh yeah uh, Ethan you want to get that yep. since I'm having to do this yeah so we, we wanted to right yeah it's a free shirt so but if it's free you gotta wear it every podcast now <laughs> but here it is this is our shirt that we made Fuck yeah. And uh, yeah, I love that Scooby-Doo we'll, font. Dude. We'll gift it to you, but it's for you. Yeah, it's actually the Scooby-Doo font we wanted. We told our artist to do, copy I'm the I'm taking music. it. <laughs> yeah, put it on. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, pop it on, Steve. Let's see what it looks like. The goal is like every new shirt that we release will be a different color. So if you don't get the blue color, you're going to get the other color. You're so, SOL, dude. Yeah. If you don't get the blue now. To like next year or something or whenever I decide. Hell yeah. Yeah, it fits nice. I like thicker shirts, but everyone voted against me, so... But it looks good on him. It does look good on yeah. him. Yeah. All right, well, next time you might have to bring another band house shirt for your boy, because I don't think I'm getting that one back. So. Yeah? Okay, nope. we'll, we'll bring another yeah. one. All right, cool. Yeah. Let's do, uh, I would say follow us on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, maybe official yeah, on Instagram. And yeah. YouTube.com slash yeah, maybe. So that's that's it. That's all we got. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Um... Fuck Epiphone. Yeah, fuck Epiphone. Fuck SG. Uh, fuck Gibsons. Fenders only. Pay the premium pricing. Don't get a Squire. And if you if I find out that you bought an Epiphone after this podcast, you're banned from my show. You are banned. I will kick you out personally from the El Corazon or wherever we're playing. And that's it. No <laughs> good, dude. <laughs> Say you like being in the house without being in the house. You gotta care about them birds.